How's it going, San Diego? Thank you so much for joining me here today. We are in the beautiful North Park, a hub for creativity and self-expression. They are well known for their coffee shops, boutiques, and beautiful artwork that line their streets. And of course, their fun dining experiences, such as this beautiful place that we are at right now. We're live at Bivouac Cider Works and joined with Laura Worm to talk more about what they have here. But before we get started, I want to encourage you all to share your SD and Me experience online and hashtag SD and Me. We'll be selecting winners at random to win gift cards to support our local businesses. But let's get right into it. Hi, thank you for joining me. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, I'm Laura, uh, owner of Bivouac Cider Works here. And uh, what we've got for you today are some flights of our cider. We make everything right here in-house. And uh, we've got a wide variety and I poured some really fun things for you to try today. Thank you. So what do we have here right on the left? Um, so if we start from the top, actually on the right, um, that is our brand new pineapple. And um, we are actually launching that on Monday in cans. We have really cool, beautiful pineapple cans that I'll show you maybe before the end of the stream. Um, so it's called Marlin Spike and it's pineapple. The one in the middle there is ground line. It's a strawberry ginger. And then the one on the left is San Diego Jam, our very popular blackberry. Um, so for those of you who don't know anything about Bivouac, uh, the word means temporary camp. So we've got a whole outdoor action adventure, um, uh, outdoor action adventure theme going on here. All of our ciders are named after knots. So climbing knots, fishing knots, sailing knots, things like that. Um, and everything about our brand is just inspired by outdoor adventures. Um, our ciders, we make everything in-house um, here right in the heart of North Park. And um, our ciders are less sweet than most commercial ciders people have had before. I think a lot of people think cider is really sweet. And ours is on the drier side. Um, we have stuff in-house that ranges from, ranges from very dry to semi-sweet. Uh, so actually the three that I poured for you today are all, all happen to be semi-sweet, but they've still got like a nice flavor and then a nice crisp finish. Uh, something that's unique about our ciders, they have a lot of tannins. We use French cider apple juice, uh, so it lends itself to a little bit more complex structure and a depth of flavor. So um, I guess on this one you can start on the right with our pineapple. Thank you. This is so good. Like citrusy notes to it. Yeah, I can definitely see myself on like an afternoon coming out here and enjoying this. Perfect for summer, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as soon as Diego's done helping that customer, I'll ask him to go grab us a can so you can see it. Um, like I said, nobody else has had one, so I'll give it to you to go. But they're super, super cool cans, and they'll be available around San Diego starting on Monday. Um, so the next one you've got there is called Ground Line. It's strawberry ginger. Um, so in a lot of things that, a lot of drinks that have ginger to me, they are a little bit stronger ginger flavor and that's too overpowering. And I think ours is nice and subtle. You get the strawberry notes up front um, and then a nice little spicy finish on the end. Let me know what you think. I personally really love kombucha, and so I feel like this is like a great drink to have if you love kombucha. And I love like the fruitiness of it too. I feel like it's perfect too for people who maybe are not new to, or who are new to cider. I feel like this is a great like introductory drink as well. Our, our ciders are less sugar than most of the other drinks that are out there. Uh, so those people that are looking for something a little bit less sugar than beer or less sugar than uh, uh, he brought us a pineapple can. Oh, so really cute, cute right? <laughs> um, so thank you, Diego. Um, yeah, so, the, so they're less sugar than a lot of alcohol products that are out there. Um, it's naturally gluten-free, so I think that's the same you know, as kombucha or wine or hard seltzer. People that are looking for an alternative to beer that's gluten-free. Um, and, you know, it's a healthy, I don't know if alcohol is healthy, but it's a healthier product. It's, yeah, it's, you know, it's made from apple juice, and there's real fruit in it, so it uh, makes you feel good. And what's this last one that we have right here, the San Diego Jam? San Diego it is our most popular cider by far. This used to be a San Diego jam can. Um, so it's blackberry. It's tart, a little bit sweet, nice crisp finish. Um, and it's just 
crushing San Diego everywhere, like bars and restaurants around town, liquor stores around town. They just love it. Yeah, very good. And you sell the cans in like different, um, different stores as well. And so it's accessible all over San Diego. Yeah, and this is perfect for the San Diego night market to have a drink that's specially themed for here. Definitely. Mm. Well, thank you so much. Why don't we take a look around, take the camera off the tripod, and take a look at all the beautiful details that you have here. Ooh. Oh, no, you're good. <laughs> you want me to describe it? Yeah. Yeah, so as I mentioned, um, everything here at Bivouac is outdoor-inspired. Uh, so this brass inlay on the bar is a topography map of Black's Beach and Torrey Pines. The knot wall behind us that maybe they'll get a view of after <laughs> we stop talking. Um, it was inspired by the knot names that we make our ciders after. Um, all the live plants are done by our friend Andy Cuffel at Cuffel Farms. Um, we like to lo incorporate local, use local products and local vendors whenever possible. Um, We've got growlers, we do to-go cider, we've got a great menu, uh, we, it's San Diego inspired food, goes really well with cider. We've got burgers and chicken sandwich and um, charcuterie and tacos. Oh, and I guess they're getting that pineapple can. So this is called Marlin Spike and it is our summer cider release. Um, we've got four ciders available in liquor stores and grocery stores. Um, and we've got the San Diego Jam, the ground line, one called All Right, that's a nice dry, kind of almost champagne-y. Um, and this pineapple will be available starting Monday. And we're um, about 100 bars and restaurants around San Diego and uh, probably the same amount of liquor stores. So Barron's, BevMo, Total Wine, Orange County, we're distributed in San Diego and Orange County. So you can find our product in a lot of places. Awesome. Yeah. And how did Bivouac come to be? Well, that's a long story. But <laughs> All right, cool. Well, um, I'm born and raised in San Diego, and my family's been in the restaurant business in San Diego for about 65 years. And um, my family now owns Becker's Catering, a really big catering company in town. Um, and I uh, grew up in the restaurant business, and from all that experience, I realized I did not want to be in the food and beverage industry. So I went to law school. And uh, so I moved to Washington, D.C. and became a lawyer. And then I moved back to San Diego about five years ago. And I was approached about this project. And it sounded like a pretty fun project. <laughs> and somehow I ended up leaving my job in the law. And here I am uh, back in food and beverage. So um, we're right here in the heart of North Park. When we were looking for locations for Bivouac, we thought this was just the perfect spot. North Park is the craft beer capital of almost the world, I think. Um, we've got really great local stuff here. There's people that, um, there's just great local stores, artisan stuff, kind of the hipster vibe. Um, the community is really nice. We've had such a wonderful experience. Everybody's um, been so welcoming to us. And during the shutdown, it's been really hard. But um, the community has really rallied around each other. North Park Main Street is the community organization or the business organization here in North Park. And they've been amazing and wonderful and helped us along the way. So, um, yeah, that's how Bivouac came to be. Yeah, awesome. And you can definitely tell from just walking around North Park how this town values art and culture and how they've incorporated and not just only the street art, but also within even your restaurant here. It's so beautiful. And so what adjustments have you guys made to the current circumstances? Yeah, so it's been a lot of changes, and I know a lot of local businesses have faced a, a lot of challenges along the way. Um, we've just tried to really adapt and um, pivot and uh, follow the direction of our leaders. And I have to say, you know, San Diego's done a really great job. They give very clear direction, and, you know, nobody knows what the right answer is in all these crazy times, but I think that they've been um, very clear with the rules, and, and everybody, from my perspective, has really tried to obey the rules. So it's been... It's been challenging, but also I have, you know, I'm optimistic that everybody is doing the right thing. Um, so we, everybody obviously has to wear masks. So in order to enter the restaurant or if you're standing in line, everybody has to wear masks. Once you're seated, you can take off the masks. Um, you can come in with the group. And um, as long as that's your kind of group that you have already been quarantining with. Um, and then what we've done is marked off six feet. 
um, throughout the restaurant. Because of the nature of our restaurant, um, you know, if groups of two come in or a group of six comes in, um, we kind of adjust the six feet from them to accommodate for all the different types of customers. So um, we've got a variety of seating options. We've got tables that can seat groups of two and four. We've got the really cool swing bench over there. Hopefully you'll get a shot of it before you go. So right up there is all of our cider tanks. Um, like I said, we brew everything in-house here. So um, they are full of apple cider right now, getting ready to uh, pour from our taps for you. Um, and then we've got this great to-go fridge. So that was really helpful during the shutdown as we had people being able to take stuff to go. Um, so people come in, we have, um, that's all cleaned and sanitized. And then we have Diego or our bartenders here can grab packages for people that they can take to go. Um, we've got this really cool swing table. Um, so, yeah, so up on the wall, we've got um, those stars like the night sky. So that's the actual like star map. Um, and then because we're inspired by camping and climbing and hiking and all outdoor things, um, we've, the whole tap room is decorated with climbing rope, um, like rock climbing rope. And we've got this really cool swing bench. You want to come sit there with me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So people always ask if this is going to hold them. They feel a little bit worried it's going to drop out of the sky, but climbing rope is used to holding on to people. So it's pretty sturdy. Yeah, so if you've got a group of four or six or eight, and especially if you have a special occasion, this is a really fun place to sit. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I love, that you, how you have, I love how you've incorporated all those natural elements of camping and, and all the decor. Like I see you have a mountainscape right here with the goat climbing up, the ropes, and how you've also incorporated like the rose petals and the, and the, the board tap, tap handle. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, in our tap handles, we have dried apple chips suspended in resin. Um, and then ones that, we also have beer, wine, and craft cocktails. So in the ones that have beer, they're, um, it's hops in resin. Um, so yeah, basically Bivouac, the reason we designed Bivouac is to make a really welcoming place for everybody in North Park. And it's a pretty, you know, in all of San Diego, but North Park's a pretty diverse community. And we wanted everybody to feel well, really welcome here. Um, and basically, we designed it so everyone feels like they can get what they want here. If you want a burger and a beer, you'll find it here. If you want charcuterie and wine, you'll find it. And if you want some gluten-free fried chicken uh, or french fries in our gluten-free fryer and some cider, you'll find that here too. I love how inclusive you are with your menu and how you're very mindful of all the people's like dietary restrictions and everything like that. But what are some of your favorite items, like your favorite personal menu item or your favorite drink? Um, so obviously I love our cider and I would say the San Diego jam is my favorite and everybody's favorite. Um, I think it's great to try all the different things we offer because it really shows you the possibilities in cider and it's really fun to pair it with different food. Um, but the San Diego gym is just so good. I can't stop drinking it. Um, and then my favorite food, our, ro our menu rotates seasonally. So every um, like three to four months since we've been open, we've launched a new menu. And we've featured a wide variety. I call it San Diego comfort food. So we've had Thai, Filipino, Mexican, um, just kind of everything influence that you'll find in San Diego. I think San Diego is such a, a diverse community that brings together um, a lot of people from a lot of different backgrounds, but then at the end of the day, we all really like to eat tacos. So, <laughs> so we try to like, you know, incorporate a lot of different cultures and a lot of different vibes and food into stuff that people know and um, that they feel comfortable with. So um, my current favorite on our menu is called Chicken Littles. Um, and it's inspired by like the KFC Chicken Littles, if you've ever had them. Um, but it's fried chicken sliders, and uh, it comes with french fries, and they're just so good. I can't stop eating them. Ooh, it sounds delicious. I definitely have to try it sometime. What kind of, what night or, like, what day would you say is, like, the most popular here? Or, like, would you recommend people to come out here to just be a part of the community and the atmosphere and really get the full experience here? 
Um, well, we're open Tuesday through Sunday. So the only day we're closed is Monday. We open every single day at noon. Um, and during the week right now, since the um, we were just going heading towards reopening, we've um, modified our hours a little bit. So during the weeks, we close at 9 p.m. And during the weekends, we close at 11 p.m. Um, and I would say it depends on what kind of crowd you're looking for. If you come during the week, it's a super chill vibe. It's very kind of brewery style, really casual, casual service, and people kind of sitting at the bar, hanging out, or grabbing a quick dinner. Um, we, if, on the weekends, it's a little bit more of a lively atmosphere. We've got a, you know, North Park is hopping, and so as people start to come out and go out again, I think we're a great place to stop for um, a drink and dinner before you're going out to the office or Seven Grand or one of the cool bars in the neighborhood. Um, and also, if you're looking for kind of a, a, a chill vibe, but that you want to get a little bit dressed up, we offer that too. So you can bring your crew out, maybe you have a birthday party or a special event, and you know, bring six of your friends and sit here at the swing. And you can still have a, a casual atmosphere. Our staff is super friendly and really nice. And um, you know, it's a really interactive experience with all the flights. But if you want to get dressed up, that's, that's cool too. And I definitely feel like with the whimsical elements that you have here, that could even be like family friendly. Like I could definitely see like siblings or friend or family, whatever, just enjoying like everything that you have around here. And I just feel like it's such a great atmosphere and place to be and definitely somewhere that you can definitely have a lot of fun. So what is something that you would like San Diego to know about Bivouac? Woo, well, um, I think that, you know, the reason that we love Bivouac Cider Works here in North Park is that you, like you said, San Diego's a little bit new to cider. There's a lot of places that have a long cider culture. If you go to the Pacific Northwest, everybody drinks cider there. I think cider's a little bit new here in San Diego. So Bivouac offers a place where you can come together, um, meet friends, meet new people in the neighborhood, um, and, and basically just have a really great time and try new things and have unique experiences. Well, thank you so much for joining me here, and thank you all so much for joining us here in North Park. Please come out here and enjoy a drink at Bivouac Cidery. Do you all have uh, Instagram or social media that they can find you? Absolutely. So definitely follow us at Bivouac Cider. Um, our hashtag that we use is Embrace Your Adventure because we want people going out there and doing fun stuff and, and thinking about Bivouac, drinking a cider on the top of a mountain. Um, and then for taproom specific things, we have Bivouac North Park on Instagram. Perfect. Thank you so much. And we'll head back to you at the studio. Bye.